Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, tonight, I want to take a look at Bitdefender 2013 Internet Security. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Bitdefender, just um, on various sites that I read, and I don't know, I hear it's really good. I, I actually have never used it, so I just downloaded a little trial. Um, you have to go to their site, you know, give them your email address, and uh, you get a link to download uh, the trial. So this is Bitdefender Internet Security right here, the little installer. It's basically a web downloader. You can see it's only 2.32 meg. So basically this guy downloads um, you know, the actual Bitdefender installer. Uh, as you can see, I have nothing installed right now antivirus-wise. I did fix my Windows 7 installation finally. I got off my ass and did that. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just run this as an administrator, even though I am one. And you can see it comes up with a little uh, Bitdefender 2013 downloader. So I have a 50 meg connection. I'm in the Midwest, uh, so I have like a charter. My connection is a charter connection. Um, I am not going to customize anything on this. I just want to see what happens when you install Bitdefender. Um, and you go to a bunch of nasty websites full of malicious software and exploits and things like that. So, uh, we'll go ahead and say ESN Anonymous Usage Reports and we'll install. Bitdefender to me looks really clean and uh, they, they have a really nice interface. I've used 2013 just a tad. Um, so far well, we'll have to see. I won't say I won't say <laughs> too much more, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that download. It does take a little while. I'm not sure where it's downloading from, but uh, once it uh, once it's installed, um, I'll go ahead and resume this here. All right, guys. Well, um, let me make sure this thing is actually playing again. Good deal. All right. Um, so, Bitdefender 2013 Internet Security has been installed, and it says Bitdefender has successfully been installed. During this installation, Bitdefender scanned your memory in critical system areas and found no viruses. That's true because there's really nothing on this computer right now except for Bitdefender and Google Chrome and ImageBurn. So you can see it put some kind of little desktop widget on here, which I never really use that much. Maybe some people do, but I prefer not to clutter up my desktop, so I'm just gonna turn that guy off right now. So we'll go ahead and say, get started. I want to evaluate this product. Um, no, I don't want it on autopilot and I don't want automatic game mode right now. I want to kind of mess around with it. So here are some things you can turn on and turn off. Um, we'll just go ahead and choose the defaults. We're going to have the firewall on, anti-malware web filter, anti-phishing filter, anti-fraud filter, all kinds of filter filters. So we'll go ahead and say next. And we'll ask me later. Alrighty then. Beautiful little interface. Um, everything's just kind of uh, right in front of you. So you've got your antivirus. Auto scan is turned on. Privacy. Firewall. Update. We'll go ahead and update now. And then um, the once this is done updating, uh, we'll go right into settings and kind of look at some of those. You can really customize this guy. Um, like I said, it's a beautiful little interface, and it's really easy to get to everything you really need to get to. Um, and you can see there's kind of a big fatty update of 38 megabytes. So we'll uh, let that down. Okay, so that update ran. Um, I'll go right into the settings and take a look here. Like I said, it's really clean. You know, you got your general stuff, antivirus, all 
privacy control, firewall, all this stuff. So if we go into general, uh, we can take a look at all that stuff in there. Don't really need anything in there right now. Um, but we're going to antivirus. This is where you can kind of set all of the stuff you're really interested in. This is the reason why you're purchasing this product after all. Um, so right now we're uh, on the on axis scanning. We're doing normal. You could do aggressive um, if you want to actually customize it. You can customize it to scan only uh, applications. You can uh, scan archives. You may want to turn off scanning of emails or IM traffic. You can turn that stuff off. Pretty easy to customize anything in there but that's not really what I'm here for tonight um, just know that you can customize anything here easily what I want to do with Bitdefender t Internet Security 2013 is just keep clicking on malicious links until I get bored and just see if it actually protects this computer so I'm on a website where I get some links from and I, I want to say something before I actually click on any of these links um, this computer that I'm on, I'm on a virtual machine and then I have an actual host computer. Um, it's on a totally physical network, a uh, physical different network. So uh, malware can jump from your virtual machine to your host computer and through your network. You just want to be kind of uh, aware of that. That just because you're in a virtual machine doesn't mean you're completely protected. So I just want to say that up front in case you're doing testing of your own. So uh, I'm going to go up to utibe, utibe.com, and uh, let's go ahead and pop this in Chrome and see what comes up. So now I'm sure Chrome is going to probably block the site, but I'm going to go ahead and say I want to get through it. Okay, well, maybe not. So we have a fake Chrome update. Oh, I better install this. Let's see what happens. Now I'm kind of betting that this is some kind of piece of adware, and it'll probably slip by. I've seen a lot of this going on lately. Uh, basically, these guys are setting up fake flash players and fake Chrome fake whatever and then they get paid on um, affiliate commissions it's kinda like grayware so that just flat out just didn't work so that's already been kinda compromised thanks for downloading whoops something went wrong yeah so we have an eh, I don't know if that's an affiliate ID probably not looks really generic so we'll move on to another one Normally, um, I have these things. Whoops! Ah, I have to stop that. These things kind of prepared, link-wise, but um, I just walked in my room tonight and thought, okay, I'll just make a video really quick. So this is a fake flash player. It looks like it's like a like along the same lines as the first one yeah so basically it's gonna go ahead I'm betting it's gonna install conduit so conduit BS um, I really don't want to install that right now I'm looking for some just straight on no oh, thanks Straight on malware, flash player, fake alert. We'll try that guy. And while that's loading, um, I will go grab something else. Grab one of these D domains. Those are pretty good. So 
So these guys look like losers. And copy this guy. So that didn't load, that didn't load. It's really hard to get good links these days. Um, the other day I was rocking and rolling when I was doing like a pretest. I think I might have to edit this video and actually get some get a link list. It's a pain. Yeah, nothing, man. Wow. All right, so we did get one. So Bit Defender blocked one, um, and this is the Bit Defender blocked page. Uh, it's blocked by the cloud protection. So we'll say, take me back to safety. So it throws up an about dot blank page. Um, so while that other one is loading, it's probably not going to load. I'm going to look up, uh, let's see, malcode database. This has been a little bit easier for me to use lately. Of course, that doesn't come up anymore. I actually go to malcode. For some reason, Google's filtering that site. Um, ba -ba -ba. Use menu to navigate. Search the Malco database. Alright. We'll try a few of these little guys. Okay. Blocked. I'll just keep throwing these up, see if anything gets through. Blocked. I'm just going to leave all these blocks up. So we've got like five blocked all together. Six blocked. And these just came out today. You can see the date of 2013-522. This is zero day malware that we're trying to load here. That'll probably be blocked too. And close this guy. <sighs> Let's see. Let's copy and paste these. I think that was the same one. Yeah, I did. Whoops. Weird, it was listed twice there. Just keep loading these guys up. I think that little host is gone, so. Oh, got one that downloaded. Uh, we'll keep it. And we'll try to open it up. It's probably just more adware. Nope. Bitdefender blocks it. If we want to get more details, we can click that. Uh, potentially malicious application detected. We'll just say delete all. Uh, deleting those events. So that was awesome. Um, let's click on this little PNG thing. Let's see if it comes up there. Typically, I don't see too many of these, but yeah, Bitdefender blocks it. 
Virus detected. Uh, Bitdefender's detected a virus on your computer. More details. Alright, let's see. Bitdefender, Bitdefender has detected an infected item and downloads. It gives me the virus name. The file was disinfected for your protection. If you want to uh, recover it, no, we'll just say delete it. So that virus is gone. Um, yeah, I mean, basically anything I throw at Bitdefender, it blocks. Yeah, I mean, that, if I want to pop open my email, My email is just a zero day is that stuff, um, but it's like a different source. I would love to have um, malicious links or attachments in my email. This is my test email, but uh, it's kind of hard to get those. I'm going to turn off uh, some stuff in here. We want to allow anything to come through. And, um, yeah, I don't know. All these, uh, weirdo Chinese or Korean emails are nothing. I don't know what they are. I bet I get a crap ton of them every day. Let's see if I can find some normal stuff. Yeah, this is old. I don't think I got much spam today. Yeah, you can see I barely got anything. Oh, here we go. Invoice. I try to open up this invoice. Double click it. And it really doesn't do much. I'm sure it's scanning or something weird like that, but the screen's kind of flickering. Let's see. Okay, well, allowed me to. Oh. I was gonna say, allow me to put me on, put it on my desktop, but no, Bitdefender catches it. So yeah, Bitdefender. I mean, it it seems to catch just like everything. Uh, I've, I, you know, I pre-tested it the other day just for a little bit, um, and I was using uh, some P2P stuff, and it it was just relentless on catching and deleting stuff. So. Yeah, Bitdefender um, 2013 Internet Security for Prevention is awesome. So, I don't really have much more to say. It just works. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Bye.